Being a doctor is an awesome profession, but it's far from perfect. Society at large idolizes the hard work, dedication, and status that being a physician entails. But I would argue that there is a significant subset of individuals who want to become doctors, but probably shouldn't. In this video, I'll help you figure out if you're one of those people. What's going on guys? Dr. Jabal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. As many of you know, Med School Insiders is much more than just a YouTube channel. We have been offering courses and services on our website for people who are interested in either getting accepted to med school or matching into residency. It may seem counterintuitive then that we would be making a video focusing on reasons one should not go into medicine. From a business perspective, we should want as many people to go into medicine as possible. After all, that would be the most profitable to us. But Med School Insiders is about much more than that. We seek to create a better future of happier, healthier, and more effective doctors. And a big part of that philosophy is keeping it real with you all, and cutting through the nonsense. Unless you're in the thick of it, it's hard to truly comprehend what it means to go through medical school or residency. I'll do my best to cut out the noise and help you decide whether or not this field is a good fit for you. Here are four signs that becoming a doctor is not for you. First, parental pressure. If parental pressure is a significant factor in your motivation to go to medical school and to become a doctor, do yourself a favor and don't do it. I've seen dozens of students enter medicine due to family pressures, and it almost never ends up well for them. They usually either quit in the middle of medical school, or if they continue on, their disdain for the profession and their life is heavy and readily apparent. Some have even told me that they wish they could quit, but they feel trapped because their family would disown them, or their significant student loans have them cornered. It's a tough situation, no doubt about it. But if you continue down the demanding and arduous path of becoming a doctor because your family wants you to, it does not end well for you. Being honest sooner is almost always better than being honest later. The pain and hurt of quitting once you're already a couple years into your training will almost certainly be worse than being upfront and quitting sooner. Number two, hating people. You know the type. The people that get easily frustrated by others' seemingly endless stupidity or incompetence. If you're not patient with people, then being a physician probably won't make you happy. Some medical students joke that they are pursuing pathology because they don't like people, or even surgery so that they can put the patient under anesthesia so that they stop talking. But the reality is, Every field in medicine requires good people skills and regular interaction with others. Sure, in pathology, you're not interacting with patients as much as a psychiatrist or a primary care doc would, but you still need to regularly coordinate with other healthcare providers to understand and analyze specimens and provide tailored guidance to the healthcare team. Similarly, a lot of surgery involves face-to-face -face interaction and clinic time. Even as a surgeon, you'll be spending about two days per week in clinic, not operating. And on surgery days, you'll still be spending a lot of time speaking with the patient and their family pre-op, with the healthcare team intra-op, and with their family again post-op. Be warned, not all patients are kind or appreciative of your work. If this is a deal breaker for you, think long and hard about your decision. Number three, you're allergic to hard work. Even if you're incredibly intelligent and skated through high school or even college with great grades and minimal work, that will not sustain you. Trust me. I have a few friends who have brilliant minds, so getting into med school was pretty easy for them. But the adjustment to vast quantities of information that you need to learn in med school is a different animal entirely. I would argue that intelligence has less to do with being successful in med school than you think. It's more closely tied to work ethic. Medical school requires more memorization than critical thinking abilities, and that's far less dependent on intelligence. And same with residency. The hours are long, and the amount of knowledge you need to acquire and hours of experience you need to put under your belt are nothing to scoff at. If your idea of hard work is a 9 to 5, 5 days per week, then medicine is not the right career path for you. And number four, medicine is not your main focus. If you are like me and have a variety of professional interests and pursuits, then medicine will not be conducive to your long-term vision. To be successful as a clinician, 
medicine has to be the central focus in your life. Sure, you can have side hustles and hobbies, I'm not arguing against that. But to make significant progress in other professional pursuits while pursuing medicine is neither feasible nor sustainable. Many medical schools don't even allow their students to work on the side because of the intensity and rigor. Schools understand that medical school is expensive and you want to get a job to help pay the bills, but it's much more likely to contribute to burnout and overall harm your medical school performance. In residency, your hours will be even more intense and your lifestyle even less conducive to pursuing side hustles. And depending on your specialty of choice, attending life won't be a walk in the park either. Looking across all specialties, only 13% of physicians work fewer than 40 hours per week. Most of them work between 40 to 60 hours per week, and a quarter of them work between 60 and 80 hours per week. If you are going into something surgical, expect your hours to be on the higher end of the spectrum. Now, before you go, these four points aren't meant to be hard rules. But if you do find yourself identifying with them, then I advise you seriously reconsider medicine as your career of choice. There are many other ways to make a comfortable and rewarding living with far less effort or sacrifice. Being a doctor is a special profession for a special breed of person. If, after hearing these points, you are still set on becoming a physician, then more power to you. At Med School Insiders, we want to help make your dream a reality. We offer the highest quality, systematically designed courses and services to help you become an effective doctor. If you are a pre-med, check out our pre-med roadmap to medical school acceptance, which lays out a customizable template with high yield content to help craft your college career and set yourself up for a med school acceptance. And if you're further along in the process, our How to Ace the Medical School Interview Guide will help you put your best foot forward and maximize your chances of securing that sweet, sweet acceptance. For a limited time, you can get 25% off your purchase of any of our courses with the coupon code WINTER2019. This offer is valid only for the first 50 customers, so get yours while the coupon is still available. Additionally, all courses come back with a 100% 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you are not satisfied for any reason, let us know and you'll get a full refund, no questions asked. Talk about a sweet deal. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you press that thumbs up button, and if you're not a fan, let me know with a thumbs down. New videos every week, so make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell enabled. And I will see you guys in that next one.